Hi, welcome back to AirPup's video updates. Um, I have behind me the AirPup prototype, which is too big to fit in the shot this way. But if I bounce a uh, camera off the mirror, you can see AirPup this way. Um, this is the production prototype. Today I'm going to go through some production changes as well as show some flight video and talk about um, prepping to do a production run, which I'm going to be starting this week. The orange material is a little bit lighter. This is a ripstop polyester. Now, although this material is lighter, <coughs> other changes I've made, such as um, using a binding edge to increase strength throughout um, me and Air Pup is only 8 grams lighter overall uh, out of 480. So it's for Air Pup's 471 instead of 479 grams. Um, so not a significant difference in weight. However, I've done a number of interesting changes uh, at the same weight. Another interesting thing is that um, Air Pup's new rounder nose, the fixed nose to Air Pup, increased the total lift um, and based on about 20 more grams worth of lift I know about three quarters of a cubic foot worth of helium was put about three quarters of a cubic foot more of helium was put into air pup during this past inflation which suggests that the nose added a tiny tiny bit of lifting and uh, volume Still was able to fill up off of a 40 cubic foot tank with a little left over for a top up. So first I uh, cut panels from paper. Paper templates are going to be replaced with wood, which I'm having CNC cut right now, which will make cutting these panels faster. These little patches, um, allow me to serially run off all of the attachments separate from the main sewn bit of air pub. And then I created a whole bunch of these little glue masks for glue application, which um, led to a lot cleaner attachments. And um, I also created these little slip entry patches for the belly rail mounts which go in like that and um, all this came together really well and I have found that Air Pup is a steadier flyer than the last prototype and I have been able to use a more central mounting point for payloads without any instability, which is what I originally predicted would happen with a scaled up air pup, but with my first prototype was a little harder. Um, that indicates that I'm achieving a lot more symmetry and um, a lot more stability in my construction. So I'm pretty happy with all that and uh, let's, let's roll some video. So here's air pup in flight. This is in pretty gusty conditions. This right here is uh, without a payload mounted, and um, it was pretty hard to fly the week before last. This is from the weekend before last uh, because of those high winds um, that were lighting California on fire. Sorry to everyone in California affected by that. Um, my issues flying air pup were small compared to yours. Um, but the... Um, yeah, AirPup uh, uh, was performing really well, and so this is flying without a payload, and then without having to adjust the, um, the bridle position, I was able to mount a payload, which that flight should start in just a second. So this is still a uh, payload-free flight for people who want to lift stuff up the line. I know a lot of people want an antenna with clearance or weather instruments with clearance. So here we go, here's, uh, here's AirPub flying with a uh, payload. It's a 620 gram payload, which is about, uh, as I said, about 20 grams more than I was able to fit on the previous AirPub. So as you can see, things are quite gusty. 
Uh, I was uh, on the downwind side of a mountain. Um, I was expecting wind to blow up the mountain. It moved around during the day. So you'll see Air Pup jumping around. It was quite hard to get footage that day. That was Air Puff in flight. Uh, flight tests were successful. Bridling was successful. Payload mounting was successful. Um, and yeah, I'm excited that I'll have my wood panels for fabric cutting out soon. I'm going to start on some of the patches. And um, yeah, I think the stitching's great. And then here, let's. I'll show you real quick this belly mount. So there are these four tabs on Air Pup's belly. And if you need to put a payload in the belly, you can insert this mount. Um, so slide it in and kind of weave it forward. there. Now I have this secure mount and I can, it's nice and aligned right in the middle, and I can slide this mounting point forward or back and mount uh, whatever I need on a quarter 20 mount with a safety line. Um, and this is nice and secure. It, it, it resists torsion and will hold something really steadily in place. Um, yeah. So that's the payload system. And uh, yeah, excited to make these air pups and share them with you. I'm going to do a run. I'm going to do one more uh, after this production prototype. I'm going to do one more, uh, then I'm going to do two. And then after those two small runs, I think I'll be ready to do um, five to ten at a time. So yeah, that's the latest update, and uh, thanks for watching.